Hi everyone, Elta Wisdom speaking. It's been quite a while since my last video. Um, not that I've not been working, but uh, I've been pretty busy doing mixtapes and uh, uh, working on a lot of stuff, devices and VSTs. Um, today I just want to release uh, quickly uh, a new device which some of the, my patrons already had as a, in a previous version. Um, I don't want this video to be too long because uh, it takes time both for you and for me uh, so let's get straight to the point so it's an oscilloscope uh, felt the need of having one uh, of mine uh, in the live as a max for live device uh, because i'm running uh, mac os and um, uh, some of the oscilloscope like type of size scope is not available on, on mac os it's only windows um, you could hack uh, lfo tool to uh, be used as an oscilloscope but it's a bit less convenient and uh, that's it so let's have a look at it. It's pretty simple. Um, you have the main window, the main device here, which allows you to select the sync uh, of the of the oscilloscope. So it's restarting every quarter here, for example. You can switch it to another value if needed. Uh, you can offset as well horizontally the value in case you have a latency somewhere and you want to compensate that and still keep the sync uh, corresponding to the bit. And you have a vertical zoom as well. Um, it currently can display up to three different uh, scopes at the same time. So in yellow is the local track, so the track on which you have put the device. On uh, In red it's the first uh, X1, which here is currently uh, set to the kick. And uh, X2 is the uh, green one, which is currently set on the baseline. Um, it has a nice uh, floating window that you can uh, resize at will, so it's very simple. Uh, no problem about that and uh, as it's a floating window you can put it aside and uh, go through your project and it still stays on which is I think pretty convenient especially live in life which has the uh, awkward way of not providing a way to pin uh, a plugin uh, unless I have have missed that that point so this is always on let's have a look at what it does you have the same controls about from the routing which is only currently done on the main window no big deal so let's have a, let's have a listen so if I remove the current I only have my kick and my bass if I want to listen only to just some of these, let's solo. Yeah, kick and bass. So now my current is the sum of kick and bass. And I can go to my bass and change settings or to my kick if I want to uh, move a bit uh, the track in case I want to correct some latency, for example. just holding a tiny bit before I'm moving the track and you see that my uh, my alignment between my kick and my bass is changing it can be useful uh, of course you can use my sample delay as well which is a bit more precise than uh, working in milliseconds but whatever um, so very simple and uh, yeah nothing more to say uh, about about this thing, apart from its uh, main features, which is uh, what we actually expect from this, and uh, that's it. So that was a short one, as I told you. Uh, thank you for your time. So if you feel like uh, uh, purchasing this uh, chip uh, device, because it's going to be quite cheap on the on my Gumroad, so head there. And uh, cheers.